What is up YouTube and welcome to this this Arrow video. Sorry I haven't posted in a couple of days. I was going to do a Doctor Who video on Sunday, but I fell asleep and missed the whole episode. and haven't had a time really to watch the episode and it's not really that much of a timely video. So that's why I haven't done many Doctor Who videos because work is getting in the way, but I've managed to watch Arrow and I absolutely loved it. Uh, I think a few of you are now starting to really enjoy Arrow again week by week. I know I am myself, especially after, you know, last season being absolutely god awful abysmal and looking and feeling like it was written by someone who just took fan fiction from Tumblr and just went, you know what, this will do. Let's, let's go to the pub. But this season has proved very well. We've got a new showrunner who is great. And in this episode, she gave us one of the coolest moments we've had in the TV show. So we finally find out who the demon is. And it's someone who I didn't actually expect whatsoever. One of the good things about working evenings at the moment is the fact that I don't get spoiled. Before, I would get spoiled every single time. I'd wake up, check my comments, check Twitter, and I'd be like, oh, cool, someone spoiled it for me because people are absolute dicks. But the f there will be spoilers here for this episode. Warning. Yes, the demon is Talia al Ghul, which makes complete sense. She's the heir to the demon. So, yeah, that's pretty amazing. She's a fantastic character in the comic books. Uh, we've got the actress who I've liked for quite a while. She was great on Stargate. And again, she is here. She survived the island. She's got burns and things like that. But she's not in the best shape at the moment. But, well, aesthetics-wise, fighting, she is a complete and utter badass. The She seems like the opposite to Nyssa, someone who is a badass and will use that badassery for whatever gain. And while well, Nyssa is, you know kicks ass. She She's not as ruthless and lethal as Talia al Ghul is, as we saw at the end of the episode. So it's a bit of a letdown in the way that we thought that the demon could help get to Diaz, but this demon was simply someone who knew and knew, obviously, Diaz as, as she took sides with him because she hates Oliver for killing her father, which, you know what, Fair enough, isn't it, really, at the end of the day? But it's really cool here because there's quite a big comic book connection in this show. So if you watch my previous videos, you may hear me mention the Silencer. The Silencer is one of the coolest characters, I think, out of the Longbow Hunters so far. She has her own comic book. She's a, In the comics, she's a mother who lives in suburbia and is drawn back into the life of being an assassin. And she works for Talia al Ghul. Or at least she did previously before she tried to retire. So I'm hoping that that connection is here. It can't be a coincidence that Silencer has a connection with Talia al Ghul. And Talia al Ghul has now returned to the show. It's quite a big shock that she has returned because it's such a big character. It's a massive character in the comic books in my opinion. So it's nice to see her added here into this show albeit it does make it more of a batman show and one of the criticisms with arrow is that it's really effectively been batman with a bow and arrow in, in a way which i i don't disagree with but i'm not going to hate on because i like the show so seeing talent here is going to be fun hopefully her connection there to diaz with silence i'm hoping some payoff of that now she is on the run now they got rid of and she well, they just got rid of level two. We had our new birds of prey, as I'm calling them, working out quite well there. The two canaries and Felicity going and working out a way to get Oliver out of prison with the help of Stanley as well, who I was convinced by the acting. I don't know, it's his cadence and his pronunciation of his words and the look he gives. It just seems sinister. Every time he's like, yeah, and Felicity. I was like, are you evil or what? Why are you weird? why are you speaking like that? It's really weird. I was expecting him to come out as some sort of villain or some huge big plot twist that he was really the demon there, but no, it didn't. Uh, Oliver may be coming out of prison very soon because we've got the... It's only really about less than a month until the crossover Elseworlds comes out. So he'll be out in the next couple of weeks and we'll see him next week at some sort of trial or or whatever you want to call it, that's going to be happening next week as well. So he will be out in the next week or two, so I can't wait to see where that happens. Of course, next week we've got more fake green arrow, which I'm convinced is going to be revealed as his half-sister, which I'm... I'm 
Emiko Queen. I'm convinced that that's going to happen. I may be wrong. I could be wrong, but who knows. But I really do like the fact that Tali Al Ghul has returned. My question here is, will she return to Diaz and then hate on Oliver? I don't know. I'm not sure if this fight and the whole getting her out of prison has made them amends. I, I think they're kind of sort of even, I guess. I'm, I'm not too sure on that. So it's going to be fun, though, seeing seeing when that goes with Talia Al Ghul. Hopefully Nissa returns as well. And I do like the long play. I really like the fact that they're building up on stuff from last season and working its way in here again. It seems like this is the, the previous season, this season, are just one big season, which I like. I, I, I love that. I absolutely love that idea. It works really, really well, and it, it gives us a big, long exposition on each character and she's got the weird sort of chemical that our friend Diaz has as well so will that be the Mirakuru serum perhaps a version of it which will see her go mental and kill everyone I don't know but it would be cool if it did in some way maybe seeing her going on a rampage would be a lot of fun but I'm hoping that she has a redemption arc as well at some point because I like her being like an anti-hero kind of person, in my opinion. Next up, we've got Anatoly as well. Next week, Anatoly is under fire, and he's got the gun to his head. It's not going well for him, especially after he was, you know, uh, sort of the inside man against Diaz. And Diaz is definitely going around and clearing up all of his loose ends and getting ready to take everyone out. So Silence is back, but they know where Diaz is as well. So we know what's happening, and we know that they are... Hopefully soon, we will see a clash of Green Arrow, Oliver, and Diaz once more, which I'm very, very excited to see. And it looks like it'll be a bit of a harder fight for Oliver as he's got that really powerful serum. Now, the, the B story here with Curtis and uh, Diggle, I really enjoyed. I thought it was great. I really did like the fact that they had that kind of pep talk. He said, like, you're a bronze medalist, you're a genius, you are, well, Mr. Terrific. It's who you are. So, excuse me, it's just the, the chair creaking and much as apologies. But he is Mr. Terrific and that's who he is. And I really did like that pep talk. Manipulative or not, it was pretty fun to watch. But that is it for this video. Please drop a like. Please subscribe. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.